Hello everyone. Welcome back to the online sessions of the Material Science and Metallurgy. Myself Vivek Pare. Today we will be taking the lecture on the solidifications of the metals and alloys. Clear? So in this unit or in this lecture we will be studying about how the solidification of the metals and alloys occur. You all will be familiar with the theme that how does the solidification occur. Whenever the temperature of a particular thing is lower down, means whenever a particular thing that is in a liquid state, if we want to convert it into the solid state, the energy which we require or which are the different types of the steps or what is the theory which is going behind that particular thing that is known as a solidification. So, in this lecture, we will be seeing about how the solidification of the metals and alloys take place because we are knowing that at a particular point the solidification of the metal starts but how does or which are the theories they are inside that particular thing that thing we will be discussing in today's lecture so let us start about the solidifications of the metal that during the solidification you all know that the liquid changes into the solid thing while going for the cooling the second step which occurs the energy of liquid that is less than that of the solid above the melting point hence liquid is stable above the melting point so above the melting point liquid is stable but when you go below the melting point what does it happen the solidification starts occurring below the melting point the energy of liquid becomes more than that of the solids and hence below the melting point the solid becomes more stable than the liquid so above the melting point liquid is stable and below the melting point solid is stable clear therefore at the melting point liquid gets converted into the solid during the cooling so let us see about the how does it happen the transformation of the liquid into solid below the melting point is known as a solidification so here you can see the thing the melting point of the material is seen over here melting point is seen over here so liquid phase so here the material is in liquid here there is a point on which the liquid will start converting into solid and then the solid will start occurring so what is happening you can see over here above the melting point the liquid is stable so liquid state arises below the particular melting point there is a solid stable the energy of solid is stable so it will occur in the solid thing so in this way, why solidification occurs due to the differences in the energy, the solidification occurs. Now moving forward that thermodynamically let us see that both liquid and solid have equal energy at the melting point and therefore both are equally stable at the melting point. So if you see in the melting point region, what you will be able to see? You will be able to see that both are present in that particular phase. Therefore, no solidification or no melting will take place at a particular melting point. So, liquid will remain liquid and solid will remain solid at the melting point. So, undercooling will be essential for the solidification. So, there is one concept of the undercooling of the material that we have to go. Why? Because by doing that, the solidification will occur. So this transformation occurs by the nucleation and the growth that means the new crystal gets acquainted the new nucleus will develop and that will grow and as a result the solidification of the material will occur. So let us see over here what does it say here there is a liquid plus solid region is there and in this region what you can say whatever the thing it is in liquid will remain in liquid and the material in solid will remain in a solid state over the melting point. So, to take this liquid phase into solid phase, you have to go for the one phenomenon that is known as an undercooling of the phenomenon. Clear? So, now let us go about the thing that how does it happen? So, you can see over here the liquid is there. In that small nucleus, you can see over here will start developing. Dendrites. Dendrites is the shape of which the solidification will start occurring. So you can see the dendrites over here is start forming the small dendrites. The growth is taking place. Then that thing will grow on and on. And it will try to combine with each other. The dendrites will combine with each other. And as a result, grain boundaries and all will occur. And this is the solidification of the metal will take place. Always 
solidification occurs from the outer region towards the inner region. That one thing you should keep it in mind that always the solidification occurs from the border towards the inside region. Clear? So now what do you mean by that under cooling? The transformation temperature as shown on the diagram. We will see one diagram that represents the free energy of the solid phase which will be equal to the liquid. Thus, what we have to do? For this thing you can see over here, this is the liquid state, this is our melting region. But this thing, the temperature you should lower down and as a result of which due to this undercooling, there is a two names, undercooling or supercooling, what will happen? The solidification will start. Otherwise what I told you, if this is in this way, then the liquid will remain in liquid, solid will remain in solid. So not the whole transformation will take place. So you have to always go for the undercooling. So with the help of this undercooling, what will happen? The material will try to convert it into the solid and then the solid will start occurring. So as a result, this undercooling in certain region, they are very much in where we will find out in this lecture in the further things. Now what do you mean by the nucleation and the growth? Let us discuss about this thing that at the solidification atoms from the liquid such as the molten metal begin to bond together and they will start forming the crystal you can see over here. These are the different nucleus getting together and forming the crystals. The moment the crystal will start then the nucleus will start forming. And at the due to that thing, what will happen? The nucleation point will start becoming. And when this nucleus try to solidify, they goes for the multiple crystal. And as a result, the liquid will start. You can see over here, liquid is more, solid is less over here. This nucleus is start growing, and as a result, liquid will slow down. And ultimately, what you can see, the whole thing will be converted into solid. The final size of the individual crystal that depends on the number of the nucleation. Point. And the crystal increases the slide sizes progressively, the new atoms will form and as a result liquid will be lesser in that particular area and in this way the nucleation and the growth takes place in the material. Now what do you mean by nucleation? The physical process by which a new phase is produced in the material in case of the solidification this is referred for the formation of the stable solid particles in liquid. What is growth? The physical process by which a new phase increases in size. Whatever the nucleus they have developed, whenever it increases in size, that is known as a growth. In the case of the solidification, this is referred to the formation of the stable solid particles as the liquid freezes. So in this you can see these are the nucleus. Nucleus in the first picture you can see over there. There are nucleus over here. So nucleus is there. They are trying to grow and as a result grain boundaries and different grains are formed. Clear? Now what is embryos and nucleus? This is a very much important concept. Embryos, the definition is very much important. A tiny particles of solid that forms the liquid as atoms cluster together. The embryos, they are the unstable and may either grow into the stable nucleus. At nucleus, it is a tiny particle of the solid that forms into the from the liquid towards the thing. That means whatever the particles are there, which are not able to grow, they are known as an embryo, and which will grow in the form of the more crystals, they are known as a nucleus. Embryos, they are the particles which are not growing up. Nucleus, they are the particles which are growing up due to the size of the Moving forward for the next one, homogeneous and heterogeneous nucleation. Now, first of all, we will be discussing what do you mean by the homogeneous nucleation. Homogeneous means whatever a material, if it is prepared from a particularly one point, if you are having a particular thing, that means the solidification of a pure metal, then what will happen? The whole particles, they are of the having a same size. That means the same particles will be there. Formation of the critical size solid from the liquid by clustering together a large number of atoms at a high undercooling. Whatever the concept of undercooling was there, that was done when it is applied on the homogeneous nucleation. It is a slower process. Why? Because you have to always go for the undercooling of the material. It requires much more energy for this particular homogeneous. Why? Because it is very difficult 
to get occurred. Whereas heterogeneous nucleation, there are any another foreign particles or the different phase which is present, which will help us for the solidification. That's why formation of the critical size from the solid, from liquid as an impurity surface and that impurity surface will help solidification to move faster. So that's why heterogeneous nucleation in a liquid on a surface of the container or whatever the things, the surface of the particular thing in which they are getting solidified, they takes the help of that thing and as a result it will start going for that nucleation. It is a very faster process and it occurs very much easily and there is no undercooling will be taking place. Why? Because in the heterogeneous, how does it goes? It goes further because of the different or the heterogeneous particles or the foreign particles or the side of the container, they take the help of that thing and goes further. So there is less energy involved, it is very easy and goes in at a faster rate. Whereas homogeneous undercooling, we are always going by because there are same particles are there, so it requires much more time and they are very much difficult to occur. Clear? So this was the two types of the nucleations which are taking place in the solidification of any of the alloys or the metal. In pure metal, homogeneous will take place. In the alloy, heterogeneous nucleation will take place. Now going for the different types of the zones of the solidification, the first zone that is the chill zone or you can say the columnar zone. The second zone that is equiaxed zone that means all the crystals they are having of the same equiaxed zone and the third one that is equiaxed crystal. So here you can see the columnar zone, the column type of the structure is there. Here equiaxed size of the structure will be there and here the whole structure of the equi size will be there. So there are total three types of the zones which are occurring in the solidification process clear. So now moving forward that which are the defects which are likely to occur in the solidification. The first one that is the shrinkage. What do you mean by the shrinkage if this is your pure material whenever you are going for the solidification what will happen it will try to somewhat shrink. Shrink that means it will try to lower the dimension of its original size. That is the major defect which is occurring during the solidification. So that's why you have to always go for the more dimension of the particular metal. So that due to the shrinkage defect then also our material is not under the particular or you can say it is not short of the particular dimensions here. The second defect which is occurring that is known as an blow holes. Now what is the mean by the blow holes? Blow holes are the air which is entrapped on the surface of the material that is known as a blow hole. But the same air or the gas which is left inside the material during solidification in the form of the small pores, that such type of the thing that is known as a porosity defect. And the last defect which occurs that is known as a warpage. Warpage it is a defect due to which whenever the solidification occurs in some another direction, non-required direction if the solidification occurs, then that type of the defect which occurs that is known as a barbage defect. Clear? So, these are the defects which are occurring in the solidification and here it ends the topic that is known as a solidification of the metal and an alloy. Okay? So, in the further lectures, we will be going for the different types of the cooling curves of the pure metal and alloy, which are the different types of the thing, that means phase diagram and all that type of the things we will be discussing in our upcoming lecture. So, this was it and in this lecture, we have studied about the solidification of the metals and alloys. Okay? So, till then, for the next lecture, till then, thank you.